Previously on Pokemon D&D Kanto Edition, our trainers had looted the bodies of the fallen Team Rocket members that they had fought and kind of learned a little bit about some new mechanics that had been put into the game. Purification and Shadow Pokemon to be exact. Then they discussed on how they were going to try to get into Team Rocket's base. A few good stealth rolls and then a few bad stealth rolls and they still aren't any closer to how they're actually going to do it. But how will they get inside? Find out now on Pokemon D&D Kanto Edition. Pokemon D&D Boss's Orders. So I was going to do a perception as well just to perceive because I passed my stealth. So Yeah, both you and Finn are dead and invisible. As I'm going in, I want to do more perceiving and kind of doing a check. And I just wanted to do a perception of the surroundings inside to see. And then I wanted, so what I'm really looking is for like anyone who could be on the on the way to go get the Pokemon out of the there cage. Is the only, there is one person by the cage. Yep. But I wanted to do, if like looking at the cage itself. If I can pre see what kind of lock it is, it's or a steel lock, lock with a, a key. Just a steel lock with a key. Yeah, that he perceived that. I'll give that to you. Okay. So he's already seen. She's already seen that. Yep. Then I just want to go in because clearly, as I'm being stealthy, I gotta be really perceptive to make right. sure if there's We're, anyone. You and people. Finn can essentially get anywhere in the campsite with that rule. Anywhere? <laughs> Did you roll your soul check? I said essentially. Yeah. What'd you get? It was a 17, I believe. Yep. So everybody got that. Yep. The soul check was 16. So, then, I want to perceive where the key could be. There you go. That's a good idea. I'm also so you're not you're yeah you don't see any key but if you want to make me a straight wisdom throw a wisdom yeah you might be able to no straight. make me make me a intelligence roll <laughs> bruh you're asking for it okay I want to see if you have the intelligence to figure out where the key would be no, I don't. That's Alrighty, four. you're blanking right now. Well, my intelligence is my lowest stat, yeah. so just right. ask the retard to do something. Raleigh, what would you like to do? Can I ask make the a perception to see an intelligent person? Uh, if one of the grunts is carrying the key, you can perceive. You can try to perceive that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. Also, Third? I just want to make it clear that I have moved my way into the camp with my great self. So let's start I'm, talking about movements. Yeah. Where is I, everyone going? Our plan was to go get the Pokemon, right? Yeah. So I was starting to head towards the Pokemon, kind of wiggling my way to go around to the, the so cage. So you made it to the cage. And or how- somewhere hiding in the shadows in the cage, and so I wanted to... So I'm there, just trying to see if I can figure out where the key for the lock was. Um, did you also say there was a building? There is a building. So... To the right of the cage. To the right? So... Yeah, probably about 15, 20 feet away from the cage, there is a building. It's so... More, it's more in the center, slash very far back of... So... I think... The camp the the antenna on it? Yep. So I think I want to go see if I can check the building and do an investigation or perception. First I want to do a perception to see if there's anyone in the building. Is there no windows? There's no windows. Oh, so there's no windows. So I'd have to be going in. I'd have to, You'd go, have to in. go inside. Okay, so let's say I went towards the building. Okay. Can I check for a perception of like just listening in? Yeah. Before opening the door. 
to see if there's sounds. Because I don't want to pull my cover just yet. Yeah, just kind of being like, can I hear something? Can I hear? Oh, no, I hear nothing. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that you hear nothing. Seven. You hear the, the fire on the torches around the campsite <laughs> and the footsteps of the grunts walking around the campsite. Alright, uh, well, I'm going to pass it on to someone else so they can get some. Alright, so you made it to the door. That was your movement. Alright. Well, because are we going in rounds, right? We're yeah, we're going... taking turns to see what everyone wants to do. So I... Based on your stealth check, is what you get to do essentially. Yeah, so I went. I checked to see if I could see the key by the cage. Didn't see anything. Went to the door to see if sound. Yep. And then that's my turn. That's your turn. So the camp is just these cages in this big building. Are there like small buildings around, or like tents, or something? Or like? I was really just seeing a warehouse with the cage, and then like warehouse, like containers, and then the building. Not, not that I'm saying that. To the far right of the campsite, there's more of like a cabin that could fit like, you would assume, like up to six people like to live in there with bunk beds, is what you would assume would be the size. Oh, like a... And it's a wooden cabin. Okay. So there's that, the gauges in the big building with the antenna. Yes. Is the building with the antenna a single story or is it two stories? It is a two. I don't know. Yeah, because he said it was a two. Are the stairs interior or uh, exterior? Interior. How many windows? No, no windows. What's the point of this building? Did you say what's the point of it? What's Hello. the color of oh. the building? <laughs> I was like, I, I don't know if I'm going to tell you that. Um. The color of the... Did I say the description of the building in the last you, session? You said it was a two-story building. Did I say what it was made out of? No. You just said it was a two-story building and, like, there was no windows. Was what so the, the, the building's made out of, like, um, cement. Cement? Cement. Cement. Um, it's kind of just very plain. Made out of the cement. Of the cement. The men, the cement, the Just kind of very plain and blah. You know, there's not much to it. It's just a two-story <laughs> compound-looking thing with an antenna on top of it. Kind of like a headquarters type scenario. But there's no like ladder or anything. Nope. Just the sea part was what my ears cut off. Alrighty, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna assume that Kaina's up next. So Kaina, what's your movement? I think she's decided. Unless you want someone else to go, while you're still thinking. Well, I mean, it seems like it might be better for us all to just move this one, because it's really only one place for us to go. Well, then you might all want to go to the headquarter headquarters. Well, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, building. Building. like by turn base, just kind of move. Are party. we all just going to move as a party? Because like we had enough behind us stealth except for you. I could always use you as a baby. Yeah, I was Run actually in. just thinking that. Running crazy. I, I could. You that couldn't even go to the. so well for us last time. Well, it you did. guys didn't hit it with guerrilla tactics. <laughs> also, Tr Trevor I mean, didn't have a bill, had really an option to really work his thing because, one, how he handled giving the note was a little. I can By the way, I am going to say yeah. Mike can move anywhere, or Brawley can move anywhere in that campsite bet besides two places. Where's that? The cage and the compound. The compound? Due to a grunt being right there. You didn't roll high enough for that. So the but you can move freely throughout the camp outside of that. So there's still a grunt at the cage, a grunt at the compound. Uh, which one's closest to the entrance that we came in? What? Like grunt? Or like which location? Yeah. They're kind of evenly spread out. So, like, the cage is the far left like outskirts of the camp site. The campsites, like if you were to in diameter, I would say on the average it's like 40 to 50 yards in space. And then followed by the outside of it's all like 
tall trees as the outside perimeter. So essentially it's like a hideaway in the forest. Yeah, but we, you said we came in through an entrance. Yeah, so I would say like... We come into that entrance. What Let's just say you closer? came in through the south side. South side. So the, the bottom part of the camp. Mm -hmm. So if you were to look at it through that view, to the far left of the view, it's going to be that cage. So to the west. Yes, to the west. To the east is going to be the cabin. And to the far north is going to be the compound. And they're like spread out pretty evenly on the outskirts of, so of the camp. So from what I'm collecting, one of the two side locations is closer. Yes. The compound is the farthest place from where you are at right now. So is the compound where I'm at the building? Yes. The only reason why you even got to the door is because you rolled incredibly high on your stealth check. And the closest, the grunts are at these three locations because we saw the three grunts. So there's a total of five grunts. Five grunts, okay. Originally we only saw three, that's why I'm right. trying to figure things out. He rolled on his perception and he determined yep. that there was five. Yep. So we originally saw three, then... What if... We have high perception. We have high cell, so we can get in there. What if... You have your note. Jazz, you can't hear this, by the way. What he's saying. And you go and you go in up to like the first front. Because you already yeah, wrote your note and be like, hey, those guys sent me in here. I've got a note from your leader yeah. asking you to join. Because we did get information that that note is from their leader. Okay. And that's how you can get in. And you can kind of be inside and help so us get into places. Yeah. Gotcha. <clears throat> I'll walk. Uh, okay, I told her. I'll I'll walk uh, towards the front. I guess just whatever the entrance looks like. Okay, okay so you're walking into the campsite. Before that, did right. before that, did you two want to do something? Before he makes himself known in the campsite. Uh, I mean, I guess I'd go tell her and then we'll try to head, get back in time. Because, she got a high enough. Because I don't want to do anything reckless, but I also want to be near. Because last time we tried to use our brains, it didn't work. It almost didn't work. It didn't work too well. We had to fight, so I don't want to leave. I mean, that's well. <laughs> okay, so you you have made it over to the compound to, to tell Jazz what the plan is. <laughs> okay, so that was a success. You are still waiting to enter the campsite. Raleigh, have you made movement? Where are you? Oh. So then, where are you heading specifically? Like to the compound or to the cabin? I was just thinking the nearest grunt. Yeah. Oh, the nearest grunt. So, okay. the first. He doesn't. Sorry, because it wouldn't make sense for oh, yeah, he her to be have... sneaking around if she's there to join. That's true. So, she would go to the grunt. So, there's a, five grunts. One grunt is guarding the cage, another grunt's guarding the entrance to the comp compound, and then you have. A grunt walking this half of the left half, or the west half, and the east half. So a grunt on each side, and then a grunt up the and down cage. the middle. Okay, so two so, on the side, one down the middle, one at the cage, one guarding the entrance. I'm a bit confused by that, though. Okay, I can repeat. Well, no, because our battle took place by the entrance. Yeah, so he would have been in further. What? The our grunt that's that entrance was like at the entrance. Yeah. Now, the way I visualized it, it was kind of, it was at the entrance, but it was more on the pathway. Oh, far Like, it wasn't like, like where you could see the campsite. It was more like inward in the pathway. So you guys, yes. So still farther away that they couldn't hear exactly. it or see it. Exactly. But where we could still get to, where we could see the and lights the from where we walk, were at. The grunt that goes up and down the middle isn't walking all the way to the entrance. He's more just dedicated you, to no, what we're this saying is perimeter of the center of the camp. Well, you said there's a specific grunt at the entrance blocking the entrance. That's what you just said. So yeah. unless... Entrance of the compound? Yeah, yeah, that's what you said. So are you saying there's the entrance, but that the one that's guarding the entrance of the compound the is a little bit I'm farther? I'm confused is because we were up against the wall whenever we entered into that combat. The wall with the torches, we were there. And you said the grunts were on the trail, we went to the trail, they handcuffed 
Rowan, uh, Roland, Roland yeah. and then took her to the gate, and that's where I stepped in. So you okay, can either. Okay, if we were just on two thinking. different pages of visualization. So how about we do it this way, where that grunt that now is coming to guard it came came back out. Let's say he was far away enough that he didn't hear the commotion, and now is coming back to the wherever it was to get a. Okay, I just want to keep it simple. Yeah. So I'm going to keep it simple. Is what happened in the pathway happened in the pathway. Um, there's more grunts outside of the grunts that you faced. That's in the campsite. Okay. Luckily, they didn't notice what was going on in that pathway, that trail. So the locations, one more time, so we're all on the same page. Locations of the five grunts. Outside the cage, outside of the compound. One grunt on the west side of the perimeter, east side of the perimeter, and the central of the perimeter. If I had misspoken and confused everyone, I am sorry. Forgive me. Um, oh. It is a little bit difficult to okay. delegate where everything is without like a like a map. So right. this is gonna happen. Okay. And, uh, yeah. What's up? Before before you left. Ask you a question. Whether or not I should do it. Alright, I'm making a roll. Alright. The ground on the west. So this is a conversation they had before kind of left. So this is Because I I was this like I'm not I'm not sure for all what of our to staff. do. I don't think the west would be the best place to start for taking out grunts. I think we should go to the east. Because it seems like the west is a very focal point of where everything is going to be. And it seems like the west is where everyone will go to sleep. Also, it's a bit weird that they only got six beds and they got like eight dudes already. There's more beds in the compound. But we don't know we that. We don't know that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We can use <laughs> deduction, but. I'm pointing out things. Okay, okay, my I was bad. getting to a point, Joel. I'll just let you do your thing. I was getting to a point. <laughs> we have six beds, but we already count eight grunts. There's probably more that we don't see. So we can't just be, it can't just say, oh, we have all the grunts. So make sure you be careful. So the cage is... Oh! So the that... The west. But just made a roll. Cage to the is, west. So they have before. prisoners and a <laughs> station you, guard. Okay. I'm setting a timer. Okay, so I had it. I had but it for fun. Uh, but you do realize so that. Yeah. What? No, so we already got the plan. We Roland's already doing his thing at this point, right? Roland thing. All right. The timer yeah, is well, set. Uh, but hey, I, I'm hey, gonna. We do realize that that conversation was in the past. It had it. It had already yeah, happened. Yeah. No, you're good. I shouldn't have even interfered on it. Because that conversation. I send out my Arceus and use them to make a dimension between reality and game. I slap the DM. <laughs> All right. Okay. So. Uh, I am positioning myself near, or not not necessarily near, but not too far away from the grunt to the east. And be sneaky, hiding in the shadows. So, she went to the compound, he went over towards the east where the building with the six bunk beds is, where six people can live with bunk beds. Roland's going up to the guard at the gate. I'm kind of just like a messenger, I guess. I'm an owl. So, you're going to the I'm east? Not no. East. I'm, at, I'm at the compound, remember? Yes. He's going east. Okay. This is past. This is when you asked of, like, are you guys doing anything else before we um, do the plan, right? Because you wanted to make sure that was everything they were, we were doing. Um, he's going. I'm, I'm trying to stick near Roland, but like in the shadows. That's yeah. my plan right now. Okay. So, and then Roland's walking in. So you're at the compound then, Jess? I've been at the compound. I didn't move. Okay, for some reason I thought Finn got you. No, he came to me. Told and communicated me what the yep. plan. Okay. She came to me, told me what the plan was, went back to regroup with 
Roland and also quickly did a quick talk with um, Raleigh and then we are executing our place. Okay, so yeah. what directions are you two going? I'm going I'm, I'm going east. She's at the compound. Alright. Going We're east. Going. Okay, got it. I'm hiding you're in the shadows at the compound. At the so compound. you're going toward the cabin. Yeah. Okay. In the dark. He's hiding you're in the You're shadowing shadow. Roland. And then I'm I'm just and like I said, I'm hiding in the shadows by the compound building. Okay. Well then As of right now. Okay, but so that's you're it. hiding in the shadows of the compound. You are making your way toward the cabins as of right now. And Roland's you're entering, walking in. Walking in, got it. She's walking in to start the plan. Okay, that's so it. do what you're gonna do. By the way, timer did go off, so we'll get to that in a second because I was making rolls this whole time. Uh, I'll walk up to the first ground I see, I guess, and just be like, hand him the note. So I was sitting here uh, to talk to you guys and take an enjoy. Okay. Make me a persuasion check to convince the grunt that you're doing that. Be like, oh yeah? You're looking to join? Do you have any way to prove that you're looking to join? Uh, yeah, I have this note right here signed by, uh, looks pretty fancy and important. Uh, okay, yeah, I recognize this note. He's examining the note. Make me that roll to see if you're very persuasive about it. Fourteen. You can roll with advantage since you have the note. Alright, that's very persuasive. Um, so yes, you have convinced as he's analyzing this, he's like, yeah, I know this is the mark of um, our leader here. And he's the only one with this signature. Um, so yeah, you said you're looking to join Team Rocket? Yeah, I'm going to take the little back and put it in my pocket. He's like, actually, give me that note. Takes the note. He's like, I'm gonna, he's like come with me. So... Essentially, you guys go go toward the compound, and he gives it to the person. Um, he gives it to the person outside the door of the compound. That person analyzes it as well. Um, and it's like uh, shakes his head in in agreement, and essentially says, "Okay, so you're looking to join Team Rocket. Explain your inspiration behind joining Team Rocket." Well. I don't know, I was just approached uh, by a gentleman in an overcoat and they said they were looking for applicants and uh, I've never really fit in anywhere so just kind of <laughs> just kind of looking to, you know, fit in somewhere. I've already got a little dirt in, so, you know. Alright, so with this going on, this is the role in the timer that I set. You see the grunt that you guys tied up running into the campsite. How did he get loose? No. Yeah, he was tied. Did you tie his feet? Yes, we tied his feet and his hands. For some reason, I had the wrong visualization. Brawley said specifically that we hog tied him. Hog tied him? Okay. That is feet and hands together. Behind your back with your face in the dirt. I've been hog tied before. Okay then. For some reason, I thought you just tied up, like, gagged him and tied up his, like, body. I probably forgot the little details on that. So, um... He comes running in and just stabs him in the throat goes back in the chest. <laughs> Shut up. What I just said never happened. So, forgive me that I... Don't remember every little detail of what happens two weeks from a part or more. Um, Alright, so you've given the note to him. Uh, the guy recognizes you and is like, okay then. Um, let me take you to the cabin and we can you can set, stay overnight and in the morning you can go through the initiation process. Does that sound good to you? I mean, I came all this 
say I can't. <clears throat> you can't get this going now. It's a whole process of initiation. If you really want me to go inside and, and grab the leader, I most definitely can. But I normally can. late night, he doesn't want to be disturbed. Um. Okay. Roll me a per or persuasion check to see if you can convince this guy to do it. I'm trying to use telekinesis so I don't have it. <laughs> 15. It's not gonna work. No, I have been chewed out time in and time out about disturbing him late night. If he just so. I, I miss her. You're good. Fine. So we're gonna move over to. Because you already. No, you went before Brawly, right? No. Or are you I three kind of. I, I passed it over to Brawly because I didn't for know. To do something, so yeah, because I didn't know what to she witnessed all of this. Yeah, so what would you like to do witnessing what just happened? I thought you said I'm 30 yards away from Brawly, so how was I going to be able to fully see everything? Did you say that you were shadowing Brawly? No. You that, no. no, you said no, you were she heading towards me. I thought. No, I just said I was staying outside of the building so that I could start. Thinking of what I was going to do so that if I heard something from Brawly, like a scream or a sound, but now, but now that I'm hearing the um, runs. Um, technically, Mike Okay, so you weren't shadowing Mike. You were, you're just observing through the compound? Well, no. So I'm seeing that I didn't hear Brawly, but I'm hearing the. Um, the commotion, so I... Okay, just let me do my thing. Okay. So now that I'm hearing the commotion, because you said the, the grunt is yelling out. Yes, that you hear that. There. You hear that. Yeah, because I'm closer to them than the central person. So, I am going to be like what? Because I was still paying attention to the door and what happened there. I'm going to do... So I heard that. Can I do a perception of where that, like, doing a look of what actually, like, you did a basic explanation of what was happening at the compound, but can I do, of like, anything else and then do a look at the direction where Brawly was? So you want to observe the compound and then look over to where you heard? Yeah, to see what's going on over Go there. Ahead. What, what are you trying to perceive at the compound? So at the compound, I'm just trying to see who's going. Because all I heard who's, was, all I heard, all of my knowledge right now is that I heard the... So the, what you see is the central guard of the campsite move over okay. to the east side. But is there a specific way? Is there a specific He thing? was running over there. So he just booked in. He, Does, the, what he about got the a other, sense of urgency to come over. What about the one at the... Um, so he didn't go over there, but the one at the gate, or not the gate, at the cage. Well, how is he responding and active? So I thought, no, I thought he said the one in the east west is the one who couldn't hear anything because he was too far away. But the one at the gate. The cage is on the west side. Okay, so the west and the west guard and the person who is at the gate or the cage is in the west, still too far away. But wouldn't he have he seen his the central guy start running? Because would the I'm asking, did the central guy all central guard then report and say anything? Alright, so guns? let me break it down for you. So the central guard is not moving that post because he is ordered. But you said the one at the oh sorry, let me ref let me rephrase. Sorry, the cage guard is no. not moving from his post. That's he was fine. given a direct order to protect no. that cage no. with his life unless listen. the boss told him otherwise. Well, listen, I what I'm asking is, did the central one who heard the scream really? and the notification relay that of to the gate, to the one at the uh, cage? Nope. Did nope. he say anything and be like, hey, something's going on? 
I'm going over there. He didn't I'm, relay anything. So the cage guard, if he did see it, he just assumed that, okay, he's doing because, his job, and he's going over to check for. it out. But that's what my role's for, is to get that in greater detail of if it is or not. Not if possible, but like a yes or no, because I got an 18 on that. Wait, six, seven, eight, nine. No, a 19, right? I'm just what she's rolling for is she's just trying to roll to see if the cage guard was notified of the intruder. Was not notified. Okay. okay. That's all she was asking. I don't know how it turned that huge thing, but... I don't know either. Yeah. That's that what she was trying to figure out. Yeah. So yeah, nope. Yeah. So just the central one is the one He's not notified. Visited. I will say the cage guard saw him leave his post. Okay. But assumed that was for worthy reason. Okay. So... That was it, and then, whew. Shoot, I can't let these two know. Raleigh's probably in trouble. Um, Yeah, I think <laughs> I know that there's two over there clearly. I just saw that central one go over to where Brawley is and if Because she can see the you can see the cages, right? She yeah, can I can see the cage. Yeah, so if they um, bring I think all cages, I'm gonna do is kinda move my way towards the cages in the shadows, just keeping my distance. I don't wanna trigger him, but I'm just going to where I'm being in a better visual spot. So you're moving over to the cages, you said? Kind of, but not but in the shadows, where yeah. I'm still so hiding. With your, with your your stealth check, you can move up to the cage without being noticed. Right? Yeah, I just want to be where at that point. And then um, I guess with that, since there's so much going on and everyone else is paying attention to everything else, that... So I'm going to say as we move on to them, what you start to see is the two grunts carrying Brawley's heavy body over to the cage. So then I'm seeing Brawley come towards being brought to yes. inside. Okay. Um, and you also see everything that was on Brawley, like gear and stuff, is now on a rocket ground. A rocket ground, okay. Yep. So we're going to stop then, there, yeah, the, and we're going to move control. into the compound. Yeah. Well, we, so you're following the grunt. What do I see as soon as I get into the door? So, when you get into the door, you essentially see a stairway on the far like right corner that leads up. You see like a common area where there's like, you know, a table, some chairs where you could eat, you see a fridge. Are there any other grunts in there? Nope. Okay. Um, essentially, you just see kind of like a dining kitchen type area as you walk in kind of like a community area and then you see stairs okay. i assume we're going up the stairs that's yeah so the entire first floor is just that dining kitchen area area yeah and then there's like a bathroom okay. so like there's like on the left corner there's like a, its own room with a bathroom and are there only stairs up or are there stairs down that was good um i have to say there's both Okay. But you are being led upstairs. But I can see that there's a downstairs. Yes, you can. Is there like a sign on the wall that says what's downstairs? Nope. Kind of like an office building where it's like this way. No. Nope. It's like. It's kind of just plain for the most part. Not too much details going on. It's like living quarters. So you're following upstairs, correct? Yes. Okay. So you're going upstairs. So he is oh, I'm following him upstairs? No, he has directed okay. you to go upstairs and he's following okay. you. Are there any like, big power cords coming, like running up the wall from the basement? That's something he would have to receive. I'm not looking for that. I'm just yeah, you can roll. I'm also in the building. Yeah. yeah, you can roll to perceive if there's any power cords going up from, or going to the basement. So I'm just curious if it's I'm just going to go to the basement. Okay. So, we'll finish with Roland and then we'll get to you, kind of. Um, essentially, you're going up these stairs. You're on the second floor. 
it kind of like leads into like essentially a door mm -hmm. you open up and you go into this like office space in the office space you see the man that you recognized in Viridian City with the black suit and a top hat that gave you the letter. He's at his desk and you also see in like the back, I'd have to say kind of like behind him so he, like he's like in a desk like at the center and then behind him you see like essentially a bunch of screens screens like tv screens yes okay um so like Walk up the stairs and then, like, it, you're, I'm assuming it over, you're off to the left and it goes to open room, right? There's yep. no, like, door in between the stairs and the room. Yep. Okay. So, the grunt. He, or, I just, real yeah. Quick, but he's the only one in the room, so it's that grunt with the top hat and then the one that was leaving me. He's not a grunt. Oh, the top hat guy? Yeah. Okay. So That's it's, the it's, boss. So, it's top hat guy and then the grunt behind me. Yes. Sure. But that's the only people so, in the room. You have the leader grunt that's behind you. Yes. And you have the boss. Sure. Oh, so the leader grunt behind you. Yes. Sure. That's protecting the compound. Okay. Leading the outside. Fair enough. Okay. So the leader grunt goes, Hey boss, I have someone for you. He says that he has a letter from you. That is an initiation, which I believe is the letter you were given out in Viridian City, saying that he wants to be a part of Team Rocket. And so the guy looks up from his desk, looks to you, and says, I recognize you. I respect you for even making it in this compound. You must have some great skills to make it this far and persuasion so i would just like to know that like my tone is going to shift to a more serious one like i'm gonna basically just match his energy the very confident energy is what you're matching yes the okay still calm so i remember giving you that letter so tell me why you're here so i'm gonna look at him and am I close enough to see what's on the TV screens? Roll me a perception. Eighteen? Yeah. You can see what's on TV screens. Okay. And there's like eight TV screens. Okay. What are on those TV screens? The whole perimeter is on camera. Even, Even the trail. Where... Can I know to, like recognize the location if it's where we took where our battle took place? Yeah. So I just like immediately notice that. Yep. He's like, I've been watching this whole time. Okay. And you and your comrades have some skill. I wanted to see how this is gonna play out, but the fact that you came in here and are talking to me directly shows me that you have a lot of courage. So I'm gonna want, I'm gonna ask one more time. Why are you standing before me? To put this simply, you took something and, from. And if you lie, know that you will pay with your life. Recognize. To put it simply, you have something of ours. We want that back. Obviously, we're willing to go through with whatever means to get honorable. Honorable. And then you see this cat-like Pokemon jump onto the desk. Meow. Vex. My darling. Don't do anything too hasty. I want to keep this one alive for now. But why not? Is it a female Pokemon? It's a female Meow that can talk as well. It's not. No. Did you take yours? No, he's to. But Elden, I love playing with my prey. 
And she just like brings out her claws. Ting, 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 ting. She looks at you with like this fierce like look of um, hunger. As she just wants to, it's like this look that she wants to tear you from limb to limb and bleed you out. So, noticing that, I am going to look, what was his name? El El Elden is his Elden. name. Elden. I'm going to look at Elden and say, will you please calm your Pokemon down? I think that if anything bad happens, it's going to be bad for everyone. How so? I don't think you're in any control. I think that I am in control. How so? Well, obviously you know that we have one of your drugs stashed away. That's alright. Mm -hmm. We'll gain another one. Yeah. But what happens when tons of police show up here? I already know the Spiro's on the way. Alright then. Or, I already know that you sent your Spiro out. Okay. And now you just totally confirmed that you sent that Spiro to notify the police. Is that what you're saying? No, we didn't. That's exactly what I'm saying. You don't think I'm not strong enough to take on the police? I'm the apprentice of Giovanni himself. <clears throat> so. It seems like our trainers have found themselves in a bit of a sticky situation. Can Roland talk her way out of where she is? Can the others help her? Find out next time on Pokemon D&D.